Hi, this video tutorial I will cover synchronized method. Here you can see the printable method. I have made this uh, printable method as uh, synchronized method using uh, synchronized keyword. If method is synchronized, at a time only one thread can execute this method. Other threads has to wait till the thread finishes the execution. Suppose say there are three threads are there, thread 1, thread 2 and uh, thread 3. And uh, suppose say thread 1 execute this uh, printable method, then thread 2 and uh, thread 3 has to wait till thread 1 finishes the execution. When a thread invokes uh, synchronized method, the thread will automatically acquiesce lock for that object. And uh, once uh, execution is over, the thread releases the lock. If there is no synchronization, then the output will be inconsistent. If there is synchronization, the output will be consistent. Here I have defined the class uh, table. It has a printable method, and uh, this printable method is a synchronized method. Inside uh, printable method, I am displaying which thread is uh, executing this uh, printable method. Here I have defined a for loop, and uh, it will loop for uh, five times. And here I am displaying n into 5. n is the parameter and i is the for loop variable. And thread will sleep for 400 milliseconds. Here I have defined the class thread1, which extends thread class. And it has thread1 constructor. Using this constructor, we can create thread1 object. Thread1 constructor accept table object and thread name and thread1 class overrides run method and provide implementation it is calling print table method of table object and passing 5 here i have defined the class thread2 which extends thread class and it has thread2 constructor using this thread2 constructor we can create thread2 object thread2 constructor accept table object and thread name thread2 class override run method and provide implementation and inside run method it is calling print table method of table object and passing 50 here i have defined the class synchronization demo it has main method inside main method i have created table object then I have created thread1 object and thread2 object. Then I have started thread1 and thread2. I am running this program. Here you can see the output. Here you can see it is printing properly. There is no inconsistency. First thread1 execute printable method. And after executing, thread2 started and it is executed printable method. At a time, only one thread can execute printable method because the printable method is synchronized method. If printable method is not synchronized method, we will see what will happen. Here I have defined the printable method. And it is normal method. It does not have a synchronized keyword. I am running this program. And here you can see we got inconsistent output. Because printable method is not a synchronized method. And this is about synchronized method. And thanks for watching.